I always was fascinated with light and shadow. That's really truly my medium. I think it started when I was 9 or 10. We used to go to a park in Lansing, Michigan where I grew up. We had a fountain in the park. The fountain had lights. The lights were firing on the water. And the way it glistened and the way it faceted light was fascinating to me as a young boy. One day I struck out on the idea of lights sandwiched between two refractive surfaces causes a repetitive effect to infinity. What a cool effect. You know, the excitement I see in the customer's eyes. Someone comes in my booth and they look at the lights and I immediately see their eyes brighten and a smile comes over their face because they've never seen anything like it. The illusion of light and reflections going back is interesting to people. They're fascinated by light. Everybody is. And it's, it's really um, fun to offer something to the public that they really enjoy and actually buy from me. This is the first clock that I've created and it is called Endless Time. Uh, the top section is 50 LEDs generating a portal effect as you can see in the middle here of the round circular face and as you look down you see another 50 LEDs total of 100 generating another thousand reflections in the lower section. Now in the lower section I actually sculpted the lights and angled the mirrors in such a way that you comes right to a point so the lights converge to a point. You can also turn the clock sections off such as the top section then you get a darkened area up here and a lit area down here or turn the whole clock off and then you get a whole different appearance on the clock it takes on a whole different image the new clock is made primarily out of Formica and aluminum to catch the flow of the clock. And the top head does emulate infinity, which is nice, and it's movable. So the customer can change it in the angle of the room. In 2004, I had a major auto accident on the highway going to an art show in Detroit. And right after that accident, I created Endless Time because I realized my time on this planet is not endless. And it was kind of a tribute to that accident. And it's been the most successful art piece I've ever created. And it comes with documentation, so people actually get a signed piece, not only signed, but dated and numbered. Springtime is a clock that is derived from how much I don't like winter and love spring and summer. So springtime represented to me the growth of the new, of something new coming up uh, and colorful and uh, with the different woods. There are four different woods on springtime. They are walnut, ebony, maple, and bloodwood. Those four woods uh, encapsulate a very nice color scheme, I feel, for the clock. It's uh, six feet and a half tall and uh, has lights, LEDs, behind each Roman numeral on the clock face, which are lit with battery operation so you don't have a cord running to the clock. Makes an excellent corner clock or an entryway clock. Somewhere in time is a clock that represents 18 different exotic woods and Somewhere in Time was also a movie with Jane Seymour and Christopher Reeves which I thought was a great movie of time travel and which I find fascinating subject um, somewhat showing that with my lights as well um, but it uh, shows a uh, design that is totally more flowing and very different from the other clocks it's a wonderful feeling and I love giving that part of myself in my artwork to those people because I'm giving them something they can't do but I can do and I give them a little piece of me because every piece I make has a little piece of me in it. 
And there you have it. As an artist, maybe that's the greatest thing an artist can do, is give something away that's part of you, even to total strangers. But you're giving them something special, something that they can't get anywhere else.